In this episode, I want to share some common language and define some things for whitewater rowing in particular. This is important for two reasons. One, if I'm scouting a rapid with somebody and I say, hey, cut through those laterals using a downstream ferry, they may not know what a downstream ferry is or they may think it's something else and perform the thing I don't expect them to do. So us having a language on the river that we all agree on is really important. This is also really important for teaching. If I'm teaching a concept to somebody and another instructor teaches them the same thing with a different name, it can be really confusing for the students. So I'm trying to create some consistency. These are my opinions on what these things mean. Also, it's what I teach. I teach these things this way in our programs. So the first thing I wanna talk about is, is maneuvering in rapids. And to maneuver in a rapid, you need to be going faster or slower than the current. If you're just floating along, you, want, you can't really maneuver, you have to speed up or slow down. And you can test this, get in your oar boat and just use one oar. If you, can, if you just spin a boat, it's not really gonna do anything. Some sort of maneuvering in rapids and making moves requires you to go faster or slower than the current. Okay, let's get started with the different definitions. Let's talk about the term ferry. Ferry historically comes from taking some sort of floating thing, putting it at some angle of the water on ropes and having it go across the river. That would happen because water would come down and push it, but since it's tied to a rope, it's moving slower in the current, that water action would move it across the river. We do the same thing in white water. If we take our boat and go slower than the current, we can pull ourselves across like this. And it can be done on a push, you can push upstream, but I'm gonna say that's more advanced. For me, a ferry is going slower than the current, the way it was historically done, to get yourself across, across the river. Next, let's talk about pulling. So when I say pull a rapid, I mean pulling on the oars. We're stronger this way, and I'm gonna mean this as slowing down, going slower than the current, so you have more time to make a move. So to me, pulling is going to be generally, pretty much always, pulling upstream to slow things down. If you turn the boat downstream and pull, that's something else we'll get to a little bit later. Now let's talk about tracking or to track. So basically what tracking is, if I'm pointed a certain way, my boat tends to want to go that way. And it depends on the bow and the current and how heavy it is a lot. But there is a tendency when a boat is pointed in a direction for it to naturally go that way. The next term I wanna talk about is push or to push a rapid. And to me, pushing means pushing faster than the current. In this case, you're speeding up relative to the current to make a maneuver. There's advantages and disadvantages to this. The big advantage is that you can see where you're going. The big disadvantage is that you're weaker on a push and things are going fast. You're speeding up faster than the current, so you have less time to make the maneuver. Next, let's talk about the downstream ferry. My definition of a downstream ferry is turning the boat around so the stern is facing downstream. And I'm gonna pull downstream with the oars. I'm very strong when I pull, so it's a, it's a better thing than a push because I can pull. The downside is that I have to look over my shoulder. It's really hard to visually see, and I'm going really fast. The upside is I can plow through big laterals, I can crush through big waves that are at an angle, and I can cross really tricky, powerful eddy lines with big eddy fences. So to me, the downstream ferry is sort of a crucial like class four, class five skill. And the way I'm defining downstream ferry is pulling downstream at an angle to the current. Let's finish up by having some discussion about the terminology downstream ferry. As I started, a ferry means going slower than the current. It means basically to me pulling upstream to ferry back and forth across the river. A downstream ferry is turning your stern down and pulling downstream faster than the current. So to me, according to the classic definition of a ferry, this is not a ferry. Although it has ferry in the name, it's not technically a ferry. And that, that's confusing to some people. I'm gonna use this term downstream ferry, although I agree it is not a ferry. Now, when you're going faster than the current, let's say we're pushing, we're going faster than the current, there is water pushing up against the boat that's causing some sort of ferry action. So when you're downstream ferrying or pushing, there is a ferry action that is doing something to your boat. 
but I'm not gonna use the term fairy personally. It's, it's a little bit confusing. And so to stay consistent, for me, fairy is always going slower than the current. I can do it on a pull or a push, but it's generally on a pull. Tracking is, point, is when you point your boat downstream and it goes in a certain direction based on going that way. When you're pulling, you are fighting tracking a little bit. So it is a disadvantage of pulling. Pushing is going faster than the current, generally the angle. The downstream ferry is also going faster than the current, but you're pulling downstream. And we agree it's not technically a ferry, although it's in the name. And if I want to talk about something that happens to a boat going faster than the current, there is a ferry action happening. It's not ferrying. We're just going to call it a ferry action just to have some name for it. So those are my thoughts about all this stuff. These we've I've had millions of discussions about what certain things mean and why and how, and I have landed on this. If you disagree, awesome. Like disagree, great. If you agree, please tell me, say, yes, you're right. That sounds perfect. That's what I've learned. I need to hear that. I need positive affirmation in my life. If you're like, this is ridiculous, tell me it's ridiculous. I need to continue to have discussion. I just want to say, like, I want to know it's ridiculous, but in my career, these are the terms we've used, so I'm pretty stuck on them. In all of our teaching, whether it's me or people who I teach with, we're using this terminology. So we're, we're probably not going to change unless you can make a really, really, really strong argument for us to change everything we've been doing for the past 12 years. So that's it. Again, please comment. I need information here. I want to know what you're thinking. As always, like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.